Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have a lot of projects on the go and I'm gonna share a few of them with you guys. But first, I wanna introduce you to the new and improved. Come on Ruby. Ruby Roo. <laughs> Ruby got, finally got her shave. Yes you did, yeah. That's it, I know, you wanna be loved too. This is it. <laughs> All the dogs were like, who's oh, this strange dog? Yes, she got, whoa, she finally got her shave. Sam apologized to the girl when he went in that she suddenly just went poof one day and was a fluff ball, but she's all shaved, all fresh, all clean, and happy. <laughs> Go over there so I can show them your, your haircut. Go. Sit. She knows I don't mean sit. 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 Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, beautiful girl. <laughs> One thing I cannot resist is a shaved Ruby. Oh, I just love the feel of her fur. I love how amazing she is. Do you guys remember? She was like, well, I was gonna say she was kind of skinny when we got her, and now she has like pretty perfect body, but she actually is still on the slim side. That's the poodle in her, I think. That's the poodle in her. She is always running, always going. She's always in burrs. I'm picking burrs off her every other day because she's always out there in the burrs i don't know if you guys call them burrs in other countries but anyway welcome to today from me and ruby gabby and sam are gone to get coffee sophie's in her room i wanted to actually update you guys on this pink cleaning stuff that i bought yesterday oh my gosh this stuff is amazing like you know how when you wash something you have to scrub it this does all the scrubbing you just put it on your cloth do one swipe over top of something doesn't matter what it is and it comes off it's like so good amazing i love that stuff also, I wanted to show you guys, I've been on this journey of trying to find like good organic coffee because I wanted to start drinking organic coffee. We use this Keurig to drink coffee. I hate this thing. I hate drinking warm coffee. It doesn't even like get hot. Sam likes it, so uh, that's what we use. But I've been craving hot coffee. Like we've used this thing for years. Like, I don't know, maybe four or five years, six years maybe. And I've never ever liked it. And I've always been trying to find a better way to make one cup of coffee a day where I could like make my own coffee. So I ended up getting this Kicking Horse Coffee. Of course I chose the horse kind. And this one says Three Sisters. And it's like a mix of, it's like a medium coffee. Anyways, I love it because they're probably wondering like, if you don't wanna have like a big huge coffee pot and a percolating system, like how are you making this coffee, Laura? One day I was cleaning out the drawers in the kitchen recently and I found this. And I'm like, what the heck is this for? I don't, I don't even know what this is for. I should ask Sam. But it looks to me very much like a instant coffee percolator thing. So I got these filters at the store like a couple of weeks ago because I was gonna try and do something else with it. I had the filters. I found the coffee thing and that's how God works. Like I found the coffee thing in the cupboard. Sam must have bought it. Like I didn't even buy these filters for this thing. I just went to the store one day and bought filters. I didn't even know that it would fit in here. Then I decided to try it. Like I don't even know if this is what this is for. Like that's how silly this is. So I found this, I put it on top of my cup, put my coffee in there, pour the hot water in, it drips down through this little tiny hole in there, slowly, just like a coffee percolator, and it goes into my cup. Is this what it's for? I have no idea. But somehow this ended up, this whole situation ended up in my house. After telling God, like, God, I really want to find a way to make my own instant coffee. Like, I'm not a machine oriented kind of person. Like, I don't get machines and be like, oh, let me figure this out. Like that stuff is hard for me. I'm good at different things than that. That's not my, my strength. But anyways, I said to God, I really want to start drinking orga organic coffee. I want hot coffee where I can pour boiling water in it. And I want to be able to make one cup at a time without like a lot of fuss. And that's what happened. Like I literally, oh, I just see something that looks like a coffee filter on here. You guys can't see it and it says number two and I thought maybe that meant it's for coffee and I don't even know what that says but I looked on my filters and this is a number four so I don't know I think this is for coffee 
I don't know for sure, but thank you God for bringing all that into my life. So over here, we are still in the process of getting ready for school. Every time I clean off this table, it just gets messy again. I don't even understand it. Organizing is disgusting. But we got these markers in the mail today. These are the markers that I bought for homeschool. And Sophie took it upon herself. She's reorganizing them and putting them all in order in the case. Sophie loves that kind of stuff. And last thing that I wanted to show you guys before we left. I know I showed you this before. I know I showed you guys Sophie's ribbon wall in the past and Gabby's. But we need to make some changes because she has no more room for ribbons. So she has like her first place row her second place row and then her many other ribbon row but we have no more room i need like a better way to display her ribbons so and i know i've asked you guys before like what the heck is <laughs> what should i do what should we do and the same with gabby's wall i think i could just put like another uh, row on Gab on Gabby's wall. Not on mine. But not on yours. Yeah. Um, also, somebody asked if the girls finished their Lego, and Gabby's is up here. Oh, <laughs> that's Gabby's sense of humor. Is that Gabby's sense of humor? Is that? <laughs> she didn't even know I was coming up to show you guys that. Oh, but God. yeah, she she for everyone who comes into her room. Yeah. As you guys can see, Gabby's like a bit of a perfectionist. She likes things to be a certain way. And if you touch it, she loses her mind. Touch it. She lost her mind now. Don't touch it. But do you have any ideas? For my ribbon wall? Like, uh, we could even add a ribbon wall. But I just don't think that... Oh. Yeah. Well, what about this wall over here? Don't judge. This is Sophie's Schleich area and her craft area. In fact, I think we should build more of those and make it go all the way across this wall. But what if we change your ribbon wall to this wall? This whole huge wall. That won't be enough, still. I think it would be enough. It's kind of like Gabby's. Or do you guys just not keep your ribbons and display them? Do you like put them in a box and save them for another day? Like I what? Really like this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we need to rearrange, reorganize, figure things out. Four horses and a dog in a water bucket. <laughs> On today's agenda is building a new fence. I told you guys in yesterday's video that this field is pretty much eaten and Sam wants to go in and cut down the weeds and get it ready for next year. Doesn't he just look like a show horse though? I feel like Chino just needed time off. I feel like he just needed to come home have a little bit of time off and just be a horse. Like, just enjoy life. Love his stall. Like, look at those ears. Look at him looking for his girl. Oh man, he just seems happy. Comment below, do you guys see it? Or is it just my imagination? He just seems happy. choice we can do a second cut of hay in all this hay up here it doesn't look very thick but it is actually quite thick and we can cut it especially down there the problem is is that for it to dry out appropriately you really need like warm weather we basically missed the time to do a second cutting and it sounds doesn't think it's worth it but in the past we've just released our horses out here so that we could keep their grass season longer so that's the plan sam is out there building more fencing well not even building just reinforcing the fencing that we have and adding a little bit more you can kind of get an idea of how high it is and how thick it is from my foot there it's good hay <laughs> kathy almost falls into it it is falling down kind of hay Strong grass that gets tangled around your foot. 
Yeah, so, oh no, I love her for you. I'm like debating, should we get another mini? No. <laughs> but Toby, it would take away all the time that you spend with your girl, and that would make me sad. Yeah, go ahead, you guys can go. I'm waiting for my girl to come to me. Can I get one the here, Gracie, you deserve something, even though you've been chasing off my boy. So, essentially, this will be our horse's new pasture, and it is the, f I have, I love when the horses are on this pasture. This is my favorite pasture of all. You have to make it extra safe, because Willow. Yeah, Dad she, is. She can go underneath. Her. Yeah, no, Dad will make it extra safe. I mean, she goes underneath that. Yeah. All right. Come on, Penny, I got carrots. Penny! Walking 17 feet, 17 miles to catch my horse. Hi. Is Hi, this, Chubby. Is this the day we start training? Will I be a surface animal? Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. She is officially you. obese, so we need to like. I got you. We need to. Uh, we need to bring her in, like especially when we put them out on fresh pasture. We need to start bringing them in again. Like Willow and Gracie and Chino are doing great on it, but this little mini, obviously, and we do have a. Uh, a net, a nose net thing, but she's just going to have to come in sooner because she, we don't want to take any unnecessary risks for her. We've been leaving them out longer each day because our pasture isn't, there isn't as much pasture out there for them. Oh, the sun goes away it's nice. I know, it is gorgeous. Okay, can we close this barn door? Come so in can... so that I can see if my horse will like come. Okay, put Willow in with Gracie and we can go on a wagon ride. Can we I like looking at her through the lens of the oh, camera because she looks skinnier. <laughs> Chino got a new salt lake. Alright, so uh, Penny is, doesn't care. She doesn't care about her horses, she doesn't care about her man, and she doesn't care about me. Because she's still not coming. A disaster has happened. What? Oh no! That is a disaster. Now what are we going to do? Yeah, Molly popped that. She just bit it and it broke. Oh my goodness. This makes me stronger. All right, we have a blue one. Bring the blue one in and we'll only bring it out when we're ready to play with it because... Yeah, you're fault for leaving it out. All right, and neither does my horse care. Honestly, what the heck, Penny? I told them all you love me and now you're like... Ah, she likes grass better. Penny! I'm determined to win, you guys. I'm determined that I'm not going to go and catch her. She has to come to me. She has to come to me. You're going to get your horse. My horse is going to get me. <laughs> I'm ready to let her come to me. Answer me this. If a horse can just stand in the field eating grass for hours without any of her friends with her and not have a care in the world, then why can't she leave her friends to go on a short trail ride? Answer me that. Take us home, James. No, yeah, but that's what you say when you have a chauffeur. No. Yeah, it is. I promise. If you a chauffeur, you say, take us home, Sam. Take us home, Sam. It. She's not getting carrot. She's not getting carrot. I'm not giving her carrot. Penny. When I say come, it means come. When the other horse is come, it means come. You have one job every day. You have one job every day. Come. That's it. Come on. Let's go. Obviously, she's not ready to come in because there are other days she's at the gate waiting for us. But man, it sucks to have to go catch your horse all the time. And you know what the problem is? The problem is, it's it's cool out today. It's 
cool out, so she doesn't need to go in. They only want to come in when they're hot. You could have had a carrot. What's on your face? Dirt? You could have had a carrot, Penny Pickle. Could have been yours. But now, nothing. <laughs> he called to me, and then he trotted up to me. I know, I saw him trot up to you. So we are here uh, at so the barn. Massage, so. Ah, you're getting your massage. So you better hurry, I can do that. Yeah, he loves that. Well, I'll wait till he's all groomed. I'm helping Sophie groom with Chance. Wait, I'll show you on the other side because I already did all this side, but he is shedding. Getting his winter coat. It's getting dark so much earlier now. It is so satisfying though. Like, my favorite time to groom a horse. Watch. Chance absolutely loves to be touched. I, he leans his body right into you. And he's licking and chewing. He really likes his bum to be massaged. So uh, today Sophie is going to say goodbye to Chance as her lease boy but we'll still see him here and we can say hi whenever we want but today she is going to say goodbye on taking a chance on chance so i know that there are some people who are out there like you're just giving up on him and how come you're getting rid of so many horses and the truth is chance was just a chance we were just trying him so he was never a sure thing and it, and Sophie tried him and she gave it an honest try. I definitely think that he has a lot of, a lot to offer. And Sophie just thinks he's not right for her. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't. I know I've said it before, but sometimes you're meant to be a stop on an animal's journey. Let him have some grass. Sometimes you're meant to be a stop in an animal's life and not the end of their life and not their full journey. Really love him. It's just that Sophie doesn't think that he's right for her and it's better that she decide now before it's too late to make a choice. Yep. Goodbye, handsome boy. Goodbye. He's like, bring me out for another massage. He thinks it's dinner time. I actually really like Chance. Like, I love him as a horse. Like, his personality is incredible. Like, better than even some of our other horses. Like, he's just the sweetest boy. But he was not the right horse for us, and that's okay. That's why it's so good that we took a chance and we tried him out and we took a long time to see if he was right. Like, we learned a lot buying horses. And one thing we learned is that you can't tell trying a horse a couple of times, going to visit and trying them. You can't tell in the first week. You can't even tell in the first month. It takes a while to figure out if a horse is good for you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?